Every month, thousands of worshippers in the Ethiopian Orthodox Church gather in their holiest city, Aksum, for the Mihilila Thanksgiving celebration. The focal point, hidden beneath a red velvet canopy and never revealed, is a revered object called a tablet, a replica of the Ark of the Covenant. The Bible's Old Testament says God commanded the Ark to be built to contain the tablets recording his Ten Commandments. But the Ark disappeared from Jerusalem after the destruction of King Solomon's temple. Ethiopians say it was brought to their country by Manele, the son of Queen Sheba and King Solomon. The Ark's existence and location has intrigued scholars, archaeologists and Hollywood. But the faithful gathered here are convinced that the Ark of the Covenant rests in Aksu. Christianity arrived in Ethiopia around 1700 years ago and almost half the population belongs to the Ethiopian Orthodox Church. The tablet is carried back to the chapel of St. Mary Zion. The church believes the object's importance cannot be exaggerated. It is still the most uh, holiest and respected object as it is. It is the most precious object in history. It's something that has been used by God for the communication of the people, between his people and himself. The manifestation of God always occurred around the ark. This man is the guardian of the ark. He never leaves the chapel grounds, and only he may see the mysterious relic hidden behind the curtain of the Holy of Holies. Before he dies, the guardian will choose his successor from the monks of St. Mary Zion. The Guardian isn't allowed to speak publicly, and his representative adds to the mystery. I'm laughing because if I say I've seen the Holy Ark of the Covenant, this means I've opened it. This is not a simple thing. To see the Ark needs to Nobody has seen it, apart from the Guardian. The Aksumite story of the Ark is contained in a historic book. Menelik takes the Ark from the temple. Holding the chest, he crosses the Red Sea, but a wall of water stops King Solomon's troops. Queen Sheba awaits the Ark's arrival in Aksum. Menelik and the Ark enter the city in triumph. When Aksum was later destroyed by enemies, the Ark's guardians are said to have taken it to an island on Lake Tana. They only returned it to the rebuilt city several hundred years later. Aksum is the cradle of Ethiopian civilization, with obelisks predating the Christian period, but only this one remaining intact. A bigger one, weighing more than 100 tons, was taken away by Italian leader Mussolini's colonial troops in 1937, and Ethiopia still wants it back. Aksum was formerly a trading center between Africa and Asia. Its markets displayed gold, ivory, incense, and spices. Now its long Christian heritage attracts worshippers from all over the country, and a few from abroad. The devotion of ordinary Ethiopians to their religion and to the Ark is evident. As a Christian, I'm very happy the Ark of the Covenant And I'm very proud that I'm part of the population. And this is Tana Kirkus Island, which in the Aksumite version of the story is where the Ark was hidden before being returned to the city. But some Ethiopians believe a different account. They say that Menelik and high priest Azariah brought the Ark directly here from Jerusalem. The island's only inhabitants are these few monks whose lives are dedicated to the Ark. 
According to the story I have from my grandparents and their grandparents, Menelik and Azariah brought the Ark of the Covenant from Jerusalem to here in 4518 BC. There were no buildings and they were keeping it in an empty area. And there, they offered sacrifices for the Ark of the Covenant. The island's church may look rudimentary, but it is said to contain the sacred object which no one may see without permission from the Orthodox Church's patriarch. The monks say the original church was built by the first patriarch when he came to bless the holy chest. Is the Ark of the Covenant hidden in this holy of holies? Neither the head priest nor the monks will answer the question. The building contains ancient texts depicting biblical events, including Moses stretching out to receive the tablets. The texts also contain stories of Christian saints, all of whom have their place in Ethiopian Orthodox Church tradition. The history of the church itself goes back many years and embraces several ancient beliefs, with the Old Testament of particular importance. We should consider Ethiopian Christianity as a kind of Judaic Christianity. And the patriarch, the present patriarch, is on record once as saying that the Ethiopian church is 3,000 years old, 1,000 Jewish and 2,000 Christian. And I think one can say that this is a culture in which the Old Testament is of very great importance, more so than in the Western Christianity. This is Aksum's annual Timkat Baptism Festival. The tablet of the Ark leaves the chapel. It's securely guarded. Music is integral to the ceremony. In the late afternoon, the procession winds slowly towards the place where the tablet will rest overnight. Although the Timkat festival is linked to Jesus' baptism in the River Jordan, Old Testament traditions concerning the Ark remain central to the ritual. The tablet is moved carefully and with great rejoicing. The tablet will rest here overnight. Its presence means the tent has become a church. As the sun sets over Aksum, the faithful inside the tent church turn again to prayer and devotion. The Timkat festival is celebrated by Ethiopian Orthodox Christians all over the country, but it's particularly important in this holiest of cities. Aksum becomes an even more important place of pilgrimage during the celebrations. The next morning, a crowd gathers to prepare for the blessing of the water, which will become sacred in the presence of the tablet. Worshippers wait around the edge of what is referred to as Queen Sheba's bath. Although modern, to believers it resonates with history and their religious heritage. Questioning the whereabouts of the Ark of the Covenant is irrelevant to these worshippers. As the three candles symbolizing the Holy Trinity drift away, they know that the Ark rests in Aksum. <laughs> 